Today, famous photo reporter of Trump news agency Elhan Karimov passed away. On December 28, he would have been 62. Today, my guest is his close friend, journalist Israel Musayev. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. How do you remember Elhan? Except working together, we were neighbors with him for 30 years. He was working at State Pedagogical University and we became close friends after he came to, Aza- to work in Azadlıq. Elham was a very sociable person. He could communicate with any person. His best feature was his sincerity. He was not ill-mentioned. What can you say about him as a journalist? He was a free photo reporter. Yeah, he liked taking photos and became professional gradually. To what extent? Because he had taken photo of deceased Abu Faz el I ever showed photo reporter of Azadlı Azerbaijan as an example to him. And Ilhan took such good photos, which were not worse than photos taken by Ajdar. So he became professional gradu- gradually. Ilhan had also taken interesting photos related events happened in January 1990, April, June 1994. Because Ilhan was one of the persons who wanted to establish new society, it was not accidental that he was working at State Pedagogical University after he came to work in Azadlıq and then to Turan. His family, children also followed him. Shortly, he was one of the persons who wanted to create free society. Elhan was one of the founders of free photography because free fo- journalism had not developed during independence period. Journalists had not photo cameras before, but Elhan's skill caused the development of free photography. To my mind, the development of free photography was not his main aim. He just liked this job. He had good memory and could remember everything very well. He did not work in state-owned newspapers and had chosen to work for free media. It was his way of thinking. There are two lines, directions in journalism, professional photo and free photography. Most of his friends are working in state-owned newspapers, but they also support free photography. Who was Elhan from this point of view? I think a little different. Professional photograph should also be a good reporter. Free photo reporting should be a feature of professionalism. I confirm again, the development of free photography was not his main aim. He just liked it and so was, so was working in this direction. Elham was not alone in this direction. His children follow him, and to my mind, it has already become tendency in Azerbaijan. Actually, nothing is special in the world. His son Turhan is also a good report, photo, uh, photographer. He also follows him. How should his memory be immortalized in media? It depends on journalists, media organizations. I don't know what to suggest, but as he was the founder of Free photography, and at the same time professional photo reporter, his memory should be immortalized. For example, competitions can be held. A hunkerimly competition can be held. How should these competitions be held? Last year his exhibition was held. Yeah, I remember it. We had taken even photo, he had taken even photo of Obama. The best photos of Azerbaijan political figures were taken by him. Yes, he had taken photos of El Chibay, and El Chibay liked these photos. I remember it very good. What can you say about him as a neighbor? He liked to spend our leisure free time together in the yard. He had given up smoking and alcoholic drinks for 7-8 years. He felt his death, but as I stated above, he was very sociable. All neighbors will ever remember Elhan. Azerbaijan is one of the rare countries where not exist photo gallery. Media may suggest establishment of photo gallery for his memory. I'm not professional in this work. I cannot say exactly, but this is a good idea, I think. I should create photo gallery of free photo reporters. This issue can be discussed and carried out. Thank you for coming to our studio. Today my guest was Elhan Karimov's close friend, neighbor, journalist Israel Musayev.